Welcome both of you. I see we have uh, Lynn and Jennifer on the line and we only have two of you registered for today's conference. So thank you both for showing up. I appreciate that. Um, I'm just going to mute both of your lines um, just so that we don't have any background noise. And uh, wait, let me just do that first. How do I do that? Oh boy. Oh, this is how I do it. Um, Mute. Okay, so you both are muted. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to say, just use the chat feature that's down towards the bottom of your screen. And um, here, let me send you a chat so that you can find it. Oh, there, we've got the chat going. Um, great. Okay, so you both have found the chat, so I won't send you one. Um, so that's a great way to communicate. Just for now, I'll, I'll unmute you. Of course, you'll have an opportunity to speak <laughs> if needed and ask questions and stuff, but I just want to just quickly get through a little bit of content first. So we'll probably be like 20 minutes together. This is not a whole bunch of stuff to show you because it's a very simple, straightforward, easy to use resource. Um, so let's just get started. So today we're talking about Jiskobu, which is our uh, brand new uh, resource for language levels A2 to B2. Um, it's a, a digital resource that we are saying is um, valuable for both core French and immersion secondary French. So um, it's a purely digital resource. It is strictly web-based. We are not printing or selling any printed materials. If you want to print off some of the content, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, designed for grades 10 to 12. It's based entirely on the CEFR, um, the Common European Framework, or en français on dit le CECR. Um, it features 10 what we call social contexts or social situations, which are authentic situations that students at this age group um, would potentially be encountering. And they're, so they're both age appropriate and language appropriate for the different language levels. Um, the main authors are all uh, certainly either CEFR specialists, FSL consult consultants, or FSL teachers. And the lead author is Dr. Katie Arnett, and she oversees the whole resource. And she certainly, if you are familiar with her work, you know that she has an expertise in differentiation and inclusion as well as assessment in FSL classrooms. So of course she brings all that to the table as our lead author. The other authors are listed here. Uh, so are the lead author and then the uh, contributing authors in case you happen to know any of them. And so to start off, we sort of give you a choice. They give students and you a choice of different um, scenarios. We have 10 different scenarios that cover four different levels, A2, B1, B1+, and B2. So there's no need for you to search for extra content or spend any time doing any research or googling. Um, we've given you everything you need. Uh, we give you written texts, audio texts, certainly some video support, some um, PowerPoint slide support. You'll have a look at all this in a few minutes once I show you the website. And each of the scenarios leads to action-oriented tasks. That's an important term in the CEFR, action-oriented tasks and authentic tasks and authentic situations. And that is really how this program is built. Um, and we provide lots of digital support, which I'll show you in a few minutes for, for both teachers and students. So as an example of the sort of choice that's always built in throughout the lesson plans and throughout the activities, um, as an example, we give you, for every text that we provide you with, we give you a choice of nine activities to get through the lesson. And so therefore in a whole scenario, there. It, it's so we like if you think of a scenario as a module, um, there's between 50 and 75 activities. So there's a lot in there for students to do. And for some of the activities, we give you slides which students have access to um, that help them, that guide them while they're performing the task. So here on the left is one example of a slide, and I'll show you where it is in the lesson. Um, where the students are, I believe they're paired up in this activity 
and with their partner they have to choose scenario a b c or d and it's like a role play and so they read the cards and decide what to do which scenario to choose from so right now at the moment the website is live and functioning and working and available for purchase but we don't have every single piece of content ready at the moment we do have at least one scenario or module, whatever term you want to use. Um, we do have one scenario available in every level and there, and you can see that in red on this slide. And then the other ones are in blue and you can see the dates that they will be ready as well. So uh, as the year goes on, we will be adding more content, but there's certainly enough to get you started in every level. So we do want to let you know that we do have a free demo up on our website. So www.pearsoncanada.ca forward slash jiscobu. And when you go to that site, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see a link to a free demo. So you're more than welcome to click on there and have a look around at the content that we've provided. Try it out with your students, spend a few days reading through and testing it out in class. Um, that's always available for free on our website, pearsoncanada.ca slash Um, Okay, now before we get into the actual website, we'll take a quick minute just to talk about our pricing. So this year we have introductory pricing because the site is brand new. So um, I'm not sure what's going to happen next year. I'm not involved in those discussions, but right now you have a choice of purchasing a one-year license for $3.95 or a five-year license for $18.75. And it's important to note that that covers your teacher license and your student licenses for as many students as you have. So it doesn't matter how many classes you're teaching. It doesn't matter what grades they are. And it doesn't matter if you buy the five year, you know, over the course of the five years, all of your students will get in, they can register themselves and create their own usernames and passwords for free once you've made the purchase. So the one year or the five year, those prices are teacher, including students. I see a chat popping up here. So just give me a second. I'll have a quick look at it. Uh, does each teacher require their own license? Yes, Jennifer, they do. So each teacher in the school should require, does need to require, need to purchase, excuse me, uh, their own license, and then all students get in for free. Okay, so let's just get back to where I was. Um, okay, so I'm gonna switch over to any, so any questions um, at the moment? I haven't really shown you much yet, but um, if you have any questions about anything before I get into the website, now is a good time to ask, just as I switch over here to the website there. Okay, so you should be seeing now uh, Jiskubu, which is the online site. I'm already logged in. So I'll just have a quick few minutes of your time to show you the content that's on the site. So right now we've got basically six folders, I guess you could call them six boxes that you have a choice to go to. Um, a propos, vers le A2, vers le B1, vers le B1+, plus, vers le B2 et les ressources pédagogiques. So these are the places that you can go once you're here. Um, the first site, the first box, a propos, we'll just click it and have a quick look. So this is really the about section about the program. So we give you a little bit of background information about the program itself, what it's, who it's meant for, what it's based on. And then here on, you can click on each of these levels and you can see a little overview, a little snapshot of what's included in the level. So in level uh, vers le A2, uh, we're including two different uh, scenarios, let's call them, um, in Sortie Canadienne, so where Jonathan and his friend are planning a typical Canadian outing for two new arrivals, uh, new immigrants that have arrived in their community. So that's the first social situation scenario. And we tell you what the task is, the action task for that scenario. And then the next one, je planifie mon été. So those are the two that are in A2. B1 plus has ma première voiture, que faire après le secondaire, 
Agir pour la terre. So those are in B2. B1 plus is mon blog de voyage. Uh, pas d'harcèlement. Harcèlement. I always struggle with that word. Uh, S'il vous plaît. And on se mobilise. And then B2, we have Oulagé, Jeune Entrepreneur. So as you can see, as you read through the titles at least, um, these are topics that are age appropriate for students in grades 10, 11, 12, um, touching on things like, you know, working together for the environment, uh, deciding on a, on purchasing a second hand, their first car, a second hand car, trying to decide what to do after high school. Um, you know, where should I live in at on campus or in a in a apartment? These are all the types of scenarios that are included in this program. And also on this page, we have a little bit about each of the authors, so you can just click on their name and have a read of their bio. So all of that is in a propos. I'm going to just click the home button and go back to the home page. And then we've got the four folders that represent the levels, A2, B1, B1+, and B2. Now it's important to note the language that we're using here. We say vers le A2, vers le B1. So the idea is towards, we, we want to move our students towards level A2. It doesn't mean they're currently in A2. It means that's where we want to get them to. So that language is pretty important at the beginning when you're deciding where are your students and where do you want to get them to. It's all about moving them forward one step at a time. So I'm going to take a minute here and just show you one of the scenarios in B1. I'll click the explore button and ma première voiture is now live. The other two are not quite ready just yet. So when you click on the scenario, you get a, um, you know, a brief description of the scenario and the goal, the task, the action task. You get a listing of the learning um, outcomes. So these are the things that students will be doing, the outcomes um, that they're doing throughout the entire module. Exprimer, décrire des sentiments, exprimer une intention, um, demander des informations. These are all the action-oriented um, learning tasks that will come up throughout the lessons. And then we show you the links to the eight texts that are part of this module. And in fact, there's 16. You're only seeing eight, but let me show you what I mean. So the first one is called On Verra. So we'll click that one. And you'll see that this text type is an email um, back and forth, or just in one direction, between Joshua, the, the, the main character, and his cousin. And it goes on about buying his first car. And it, you know, it's, we'll see what happens. So it's an email format. But every text, so this is one written text, every text is also accompanied by an audio text. So up here on the top right, we've got some icons that represent content. The first content is a headset icon. When you click it and press play, you will hear the audio file. Grosse décision. Tu sais, Josh, s'acheter une auto, c'est une grosse décision à prendre. Je sais, mais avoir une voiture. So uh, it's important to point out that this is not, the audio file is not a read aloud, a repeat of the text. It's two different texts. One of them is for reading. The other one is a strictly listening, um, an audio text. So that's where we get two out of every one. They're on the same topic and they certainly contribute to each other, but they are separate. So that you just click audio and it will hide or show the audio file. Then while we're up here, I'll show you what the other icons represent. This next one represents les fiches, les fiches d'activité et les fiches langagières. So when you click on any of the line masters, I'll just click on the last one there on the list, it opens in its own window and these are HTML line masters. For, so they are website. And so you can click and type. I'm just obviously not paying attention to what I'm typing here, but I just want to show you if students can fill these out online as they are right now. 
but we don't offer you a way to, uh, or students, a way to submit them to you through our platform. So when they're finished with the Line Master, when they're finished completing it, they have the choice of exporting it as a Word document, and then they can either email it or send it through your LMS or send it through Google Classroom or whatever platforms you're using. It becomes a Word document like any other Word document. Or once they're finished, they can print it and hand it in that way. So that is what happens with Les Fiches. And that was up here uh, under uh, the icon for the Line Masters. The next icon is Les Diepo Slides. So when you click it, a PowerPoint file will download onto your computer. So you just open it. It opens in PowerPoint, if you have PowerPoint. Um, and what we have here, these are the student PowerPoint slides that, that are support slides for this lesson, for this module, this scenario. Um, so the first one is always the I can statements, je peux. These are the success criteria for these lessons. Now it's important for you to note that because we provide them to you in PowerPoint, they are editable. So you just have to click editing, enable editing. And so together with your class, you can what we call, you know, co-create your success criteria. So you can look at this list and you can take some out if you don't want to do the first one. Um, or your which, whichever one you want to change the wording slightly you want to add some these are all modifiable and then you just save it to your computer your desktop wherever you want to save it um, and then you have it and then the this next slide in this particular one is the scenario so this I showed you already earlier so this is an example of four role-playing cards that comes up in the lesson and students will get together and choose one of the role plays together. So that's included in the slides. I'm just gonna go back to the website. So we looked at audio text, we looked at les fiches, the uh, worksheets, that was the slides. And then the last icon here is video. So when I click the video, it'll just take a second to load and I'll just press play for a second or two. As-tu la confiance nécessaire pour utiliser des mots connecteurs? Voici des explications pour t'aider. Josh énumère les arguments qu'il a utilisés pour convaincre ses parents. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it there. So this is a, a little sort of mini grammar um, video that has to do with les mots connecteurs. Um, we don't have whole lessons um, or whole texts that are based around grammar, um, but we do have grammar support in here. So this is one example. So this is where students are going to, you know, learn and get some practice using les mots connecteurs pour commencer, ensuite, puis, après, enfin, all those types of words. So this is one example of a type of video that represents grammar and language support. So I'll just close that. I'll just go back to On verra. So that's the, all of that content is part of the first text. Uh, so let me go back to where we were, that was on verra. Now I'll just quickly show you some of the other texts to illustrate how we have different types of texts. So the next one is called Une Bonne Nouvelle. So this is um, SMS, this is texting, like cell phone texting, back and forth between Joshua and Natasha. And it goes on, it, it, it loads as you scroll down. So this is another format, another type of text. And always keep an eye up in the top where we have the icons that represent the support that goes with it. So we have an audio file, we have les fiches, and we have les diapo. This one, this particular one doesn't have a video. I'll just go back to our website. The next one, Zonoto, is a website that we created. It's like a, uh, to represent an authentic website. So again, different type of reading, a different way of interacting with the text. 
Um, and it's a site that we created so you know that the content is fine, the reading level will be fine, and of course we have activities based around it. So those are just sort of three examples of the eight texts that are included in here, plus always an audio text for every um, reading text. Um, so just a few more things to show you. So as well under, for, under the student login, um, they have access to other resources. So we, the first one here is Pour Communiquer. So I'll just click that and show you that it's a, it's a sort of a document that can be printed or um, saved to people's computers or saved to their hard drive or Google. And it just has sort of some sentence starters, some phrases, some reminders of how to, how to use the language properly. So to express your surprise, you know, ça m'étonne, je suis surprise, uh, j'étais ravi, soulagé. Um, j'étais furieuse. So these are all just language support, uh, communication support. We also give a lexique, so like a sort of a glossary. Um, we have lots of terminology and uh, strict vocabulary that have to do specifically with buying my first car because that's the uh, that's what we're reading. That's the module that we're in right now. So these are words that might not, you know, students might not have come across yet in their learning of French as a second language. So we sort of list some phrases and words and terms here uh, for them to help them out as they're getting through the lessons. And then we also provide some cultural links, uh, which are like third party websites. I'm just gonna open it up. So instead of the students and teachers having to do lots of research about what websites can we use as we're completing the activities, we provide some right here. We've done some research for you already. Um, and so we've just provided listings here. Of course, always about cars um, because that's what this module is. And then last but not least, le fiche d'auto-évaluation. So this is the, every module comes with a self-evaluation sheet. I'll just quickly open it here. Oops, I meant to open the PDF. Um, th these things are provided in Word and PDF because you might want to make some edits to them. You might want to make some changes. So use the Word document. Uh, if you are happy with as it stands, then by all means use the PDF. No need to open the Word. So that sort of quickly, but that gives you an overview to the student content that's available in at least the first Situation Sociale. I'm going to go back to home and we won't click on the other uh, links, the other uh, levels just at the moment because it's all the same. Uh, it's all presented in the same way, the content, but I will spend a minute t talking about les ressources pédagogiques. So the first thing to tell you, uh, I'll just open it as I'm talking. The first thing to tell you is that students will not have access to this folder. When they log in as a student, um, they, if they click on this folder, they'll get an error message that says, you don't have uh, access to this folder. This is for teachers only. So it has, let's open up, we were in Bay 1 and we were in Ma Première Voiture. So these are all the files that are available to you, the teacher, and you can see most of them are available in Word and PDF. Um, so that, and these are support files for you. So the first thing is the teacher guide, of course. So we provide you with, I'll just let it open. We provide you with background information. Let me just get past the, uh, you know, an overview of the situation sociale, an overview of the texts that are included, um, some background information on the CECR. Uh, the evaluation plan is pretty important. So what we've done is we've taken the skills, um, compréhension orale and compréhension écrite, production orale et écrite, and uh, interaction orale et écrite. We've taken those skills and we've um, shown you which activities, activity 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, so those are listed in your lesson plans, and which activities hit the various skills. So it will help you plan out 
um, you know, what you want to check off on your own lists with your students. So we provide this chart for every text. You can see as I'm scrolling through, we've got all the texts listed here. So let's just get past all this, uh, some information about metacognition, auto-evaluation, assessment, and we'll get into the actual learning plans themselves, lesson plans, I mean. So the lessons are divided up into four parts. The first, of course, the introduction, the contextualisation, and then the exploration, the transfer, the transfert, and last but not least, le synthèse, the synthesis. So as you read through the lesson plan, you can see the, the different sections. And of course, we always list choix de, you know, un, deux, trois activités. Um, so we always give you choices. You're welcome to do all of them, <laughs> of these activities, or pick and choose which ones you want to do, maybe based on the skills that you want to practice um, and want to hit on uh, each day. So, uh, contextualis contextualisation, exploration, choix de trois activités, and transfer, we have choix de deux activités, and synthèse, choix de deux tâches. So these are the actionable tasks that are at the end of every, um, at every uh, text. So, that's a quick, quick look at the lesson plans. And then we also provide line masters, language masters, uh, evaluation masters, activity cards, uh, les démos langagières. So this is for an example here. You can see this first one is pour lier des, pour lier des idées. So that's a PowerPoint. I will quickly open that one and have a look at it. It is sort of a, it's a PowerPoint version of the um, video that we just had a quick look at a minute ago. The video is about using les mots connecteurs. So we've sort of broken it down into PowerPoint slides as well um, at, for the teachers to use as they see fit. So this is, um, you know, que remarques tu? On utilise des mots connecteurs pour indiquer les étapes. So pour commencer ensuite, puis enfin. So that's what this lesson this PowerPoint slide is all about. Okay, and then last but not least, uh, the transcription of audio texts. So wh where we are providing audio texts, we do provide you a PDF of the, of the text that goes with it uh, for students who are hard of hearing or for whatever reason can't actually listen along to the file. They are they can still get at the content by using the transcript. And then we provide the um, answer key for the uh, fiche and the modeling that happens throughout the lessons. Okay, so I'm officially finished uh, showing the show and tell portion. So let me just go back to the home. Uh, so we've looked at the about section. We had a look at Vers le B1, the student content that's in that's in the different folders. And then we had a look at Les Ressources Pédagogiques. And I could see that the little chat box was jumping up and down at me. So I'm going to open it up now and have a look. Um, and then we, I'll actually, let me see if I can, well, let me have a read here first. Uh, does each teacher, oh, so we answered that one. Does each teacher uh, require their own license? So yes, teachers, each teacher, and then of course the students are in for free. Um, could you show the fiche that goes with that text? Okay, Jennifer, I'm going to have to, I'll unmute you in a second and you'll have to let me know which text uh, you're looking for. And are there questions that go with the audio texts? Oh, sorry, lots of, Jennifer, don't say sorry uh, for questions. Let me just unmute everybody. This is a bit silly here that we're texting and there's only a few of us on the line. So let me figure out how to do that. Unmute. There. Okay. Oh, Janine. Hi. I see. I just noticed that you joined. I hi, Kelly. Hi. Janine's my colleague. Um, so, Lynn and Jennifer, ask away. Uh, Jennifer, I can see that you've, you're on. There you are. You're unmuted now. So, I was just wondering, um, back when we were looking at On Verra, yeah. um, if there's a fiche that, and I think I found it because I went into the demo site, so I think I found that. 
Okay. Are there um, the fish that go with the audio texts? Could you show one of those? Like even for the on verra, <clears throat> the text is the audio is called une grosse décision, right? The one uh, that um, yes, it is. Yeah. So you've just asked me a question that I don't really know how to answer. So let's explore it together and see. It was um, in the teacher. It's under the teacher. Oh, it's under the teacher. Version? Yeah. Did you do? Let me go back. You're still seeing my screen, eh? Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go back and we'll figure it out together. So where fish. it says fish, um, I'm not Ooh. sure if it's under fish d'activité. Let's try it. So the first one is on verra. Right. On verra sweet. No, so it's not there. Une grosse décision. Oh, une grosse décision, right. So then this is Okay, that's helpful. Just to kind of see how we could use those as listening. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, the whole point of listening is you must have something to do with it. So mm -hmm. I, I would imagine that we would be providing a line master for each one. Right, because that's that was in the teacher thing, right? That, yeah. The, the yeah. That we're looking at right now. Yeah. Yeah. Can you scroll down to the bottom yeah, of that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. And then, yeah, so fish. So, you know, there's more than one that goes with every lesson, obviously. Yep, that makes sense. Could you scroll down to the next one, the Exploration de la Langue? I'm just trying to get a... Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that also goes with the listening then. Yeah, it sound, looks like it. Yes, it does. Yeah. It could like conversation. Yep. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. There, I learned something today too. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, any other questions? Let me just have a quick, did I, is there anything I'm missing from the chat? That's it, okay. Um, so at this point, uh, I, you know, I advise you to give a try. You look at that demo on our website um, and see if there's anything in there you actually can use with your students to try it out. Um, Otherwise, if, if you are interested already, um, it's not too late <laughs> to buy it, certainly for this semester or for next, if you are in a semester school for, for semester two. Um, and I mean, that first year, that introductory price is so appealing. It's, it's quite affordable for a teacher and however many classes of students you're teaching. So it's an easy way to dip your toe in and check it out. So Kelly. Yeah. If I wanted to buy one as the FSL coordinator and in a session, could I have the teachers participating be the students just to show them the whole thing? Like if I buy a copy? Oh, yeah. I don't see why not. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, except, okay, I'm just thinking. Okay. If, if you had, just let me think this through before we finish. Um, I'm picking up now. I like the answer. <laughs> yeah. So if you purchase one teacher access, essentially, then you yeah. get some student accesses that go with it. And you want to, so is this just to try it for your teachers or because your teachers wouldn't have access if they log in as a student? for example, right. uh, they wouldn't be able to click on Les Ressources Pédagogiques on the homepage. Don't but I could. I could do that you in can. a show them. Okay. Yes, absolutely. It, it is a lot of money per teacher, potentially. Yeah. Uh, and there's, you know, I'm familiar with school budgets, so I, I would want to show it to to make sure that they know what they're purchasing and the value of it. I see. I see. So I, I agree with that just because I think, you know, if I've got five or six teachers in my department, yeah. you know, you, there you're talking about a lot every, every year that would need to be renewed. Right. Whereas buying a, buying a print textbook, it's a one time expense. Right. And then it, then it just, you just use it. Yeah. So I think if, if this is something that needs to be renewed every year, it is a lot if we have to buy individual teacher licenses. I see. Okay. Yep. Now for the deciding part, it, like as far as making the decision, I, I, 
instead of buying it, maybe just try the demo. Mm -hmm. Cause it's free. It's not very complete. Let's have a look at it. Have you, I guess you've been looking at it while we've been chatting. Yeah. And, and the thing is that it's, you know, if I have 10 teachers in my department, that's like 3000, you know, whatever, almost $4,000. Yeah. And so the demo does, you know, is good. Yeah. But then I want to see the whole thing. And make yeah. Sure yeah. You know, what they want. Oh yeah. We don't even have the, uh, so, okay. I just noticed, I'm sorry. I wasn't super familiar with what was included in the demo yeah. and I'm just logged in. I've just looked at it and I can see that we don't even have any teacher content in there. So yeah, not super great for making decisions. Yeah. But yeah. if I buy one and invite teachers to a session and we go through it together, then they can really, you know, say to their principal, this is really worth buying. Like, cause yeah. you know, Money, money is at a <laughs> you know. <laughs> yep, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so how does that sound for today? Is it do you anything else you wanted to ask about or look at or I think it's good. Yeah, <laughs> good. Okay, well, let's leave it there for now. If you have any questions that occur to you after now after today um, I think you have my email address it would have come mm -hmm. through in the uh, registration for today yeah. um, so feel free to reach out to me anytime and ask any questions um, uh, you wouldn't do your purchasing through me um, but if you are interested in purchasing you can always reach out to me and I'll direct you to the, you know our, well actually let me put the slide up I do have a slide here for purchasing um, here so if you are interested in purchasing, um, we do, oh, this is the wrong slide, I'm sorry. I, so that's the right phone number right there, 1-800-361-6128. But unfortunately, it's the wrong email. That's not even email, that's a website. Let me get you the right email address while I have you. Let, just give me one minute here. But the purchase, uh, beside the one year at 395, you had a number beside that's the purchase number for that. Yes, right? it is. Yep. So I'll, I'll pull that up so you can, if you want to actually, what I can do is email you these slides after the show, after today, after the show, after today, and I, you can see the proper, uh, I'll have the proper email address for customer service. And you can see the ISBN numbers for ordering and the prices. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I, I just realized there was a mistake in my PowerPoint and I forgot to fix it before today. So there you go. Um, so yeah, all I have your email addresses. So both of you, I'll just send you these PowerPoint slides and you can always use them with your teachers. You can send them around to your teachers to introduce the uh, product and um, give them some information too. Perfect. Good. Okay. So thank you both. Thank you very much for attending today and, and listening in. And if you have any questions, don't shy away from uh, reaching out to me. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. We'll talk Bye. again soon. Bye. Have a good night. Thanks, Kelly. Bye. Bye, Janine. Thanks for joining.